Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many SQL Server reporting services users encounter. Sean asks if there's a way to add custom HTTP response headers to SSRS, similar to how you would configure them in an IIS web config file. He mentions trying to add headers like XFrame options to the web config file located in the reporting services directory, but it didn't work. Let's explore this challenge and find out how to effectively manage HTTP headers in SSRS. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. To add custom HTTP response headers to SQL Server Reporting Services or SSRS, we need to modify the web config file. This file is crucial for configuring various settings in SSRS. In the web.config file, we will add our custom headers under the HTTP protocol section. This is similar to how you would configure it in an IIS web config file. After adding the custom headers, it's important to restart the SSRS service for the changes to take effect. You can do this through the SQL Server Reporting Services Configuration Manager. Finally, verify that your custom headers are being sent in the HTTP response. You can use browser developer tools or tools like Postman to check the response headers. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. You can now add HTTP headers in Power BI Report Server and SQL Server Reporting Services 2017 and later. To do this, connect to your Report Server instance in SQL Server Management Studio. Right click on the Report Server name select Properties, and then go to the Advanced Menu option. For detailed guidance, check the Microsoft Documentation link below. If you encounter issues connecting to the report server, ensure you specify the web service URL, like hexample.local report server. More help is available in the Microsoft Documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add HTTP headers in SSRS, this user found a solution for the login page. They implemented it in the code behind by adding a specific header. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add HTTP headers in SSRS, start by editing the server properties. Connect to your report server in SQL Server Management Studio, right-click the server, and select Properties. Then navigate to the Advanced section under User Defined. You can configure course and custom headers here. For example, to enable course, you would set the access control allow origin header. And for custom headers, you can specify a content security policy. These settings are stored in the SSRS database. 
specifically in the report server's dbo.configurationInfo table. Remember, a server reboot may be necessary for the custom headers to take effect due to caching issues. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.